please subscribe. I drank a beer. I drank another beer. Three beers. Four beers. Oh no. Five beers. Oh no. Six beers. Seven beers. Eight beers. What do you got? What do you First got? First of all, I got my Corona. Yes. You know. And uh, hey, what? do you like feet? Feet? Feet. No, man, that's a sick fetish really? some people have. Yeah, that's I disgusting. See, I, well, where, I, where are we going with I this before? I... I love feet, but we're cooking scallops. And believe right. it or not, scallops have feet. Really? Yeah, absolutely. So I left a couple on here because these are fresh scallops. This is a no-foot scallop. Okay. All righty. And this is a foot. Can you see the foot? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so what you if have to do... I thought it was an elbow. No, no, it's a okay. foot. So what you got to do is you have to take that off. Okay. And then you just discard that. I left another one on so you could see... So, but you have to remove the feet oh. on scallops. It's one of the very important parts of cooking okay. a good quality scallop. When you ask scallop. if I like feet, this is where hey, I, know, I didn't I know. think we were going here. But right anyway, feet are, there. it's just where the scallop <laughs> attaches to the shell. It's a really tough Because I know muscle. some sick people. Yes, I know, feet, I know. And, and we're like, not, uh, uh, but yeah. you digress. And, and you at home, if you're in the feet, <laughs> you know what? You're sick. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> so take your feet and toss your feet All to right. the side. All right, now, let's get going here. I'm hungry. We're going to cook scallops. Scallops. Yeah, it's scallop time. Then scallops. Uh, we're having scallops. <laughs> so, bacon grease. Ooh, okay. bacon grease? Yep, okay. bacon grease, what you saved. And you don't need an, an absorbent in amount, but you need enough, mm. okay? So what I like to do is <laughs> just enough get to get off the pan. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's cooking, you know? There you go. You're gonna get dirty. So you have to have a substantial, I'd say about what, tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons? Yeah. You know? So you just wanna make sure that you have enough in there uh. to kind of come up your scallops a little bit while they're cooking, so they're not just laying on a pan. Otherwise, you. you're not gonna get them off of there. And then you're just gonna take your scallops, which are room temperature. Okay, I now, got, do you dry them off first? Yes, yeah, and you, as you can see, they, they kind of have already done that. Right. Uh, if, if not, you don't ever wanna put something wet in oil or bacon fat, or you're gonna have a mess. So you're still gonna have a little bit of residual because they still have moisture, moisture in them. Sure. Yep, sure. exactly, so it's now, not gonna come off. There's two different types also. These are uh, sea scallops. Yes. And then there's things that are called bay scallops, which are much tinier and ugh, Come just, from the yeah, it's just yeah. something I don't need. So that's how fast it took for our bacon. Okay, so we got our bacon grease ready yes. to go. So our bacon grease scallops. is ready to go. You can see a little bit of smoke coming off of that. I don't know if you can see that at yeah. all. We hope you can. I'm smelling bacon. But then in go your scallops. Right. This is how you put a scallop in. You okay. see how this has a little bit of oil in it down here? Yes. So you dredge it in that and then you put it in the pan. Okay, so and you got to touch it in the correct. oil first. So you're touching the oil, putting it on the pan. Touching the oil. Now these go pretty the quick, right? Well, they go very quick. You have to watch your heat. Okay. Touch the oil, put it in the pan. Oil, oh, man. pan. You got to watch because when you get deeper with this, <laughs> that's part of cooking, people. Oh, shit. There you go. Now, the important thing. Yes, sir. Don't move them. Just leave them sizzle. Just leave them sizzle. Yep. And you're going to let them sizzle until they're done. How can you tell? Now you you're going to watch one the side. sides. No, you're going to do both sides. Okay. Okay. And you're going to need a pair of these. Okay. Your tongs are very important. A good high heat pan. All right. This is a uh, stainless steel, all clad. Yes. Something you don't want. You don't really want to do this in a non-stick pan. It doesn't work as well. Okay. Okay. If you have a smoke alarm, trust me, you might want to turn that down or turn that off also. Because this is going to start As I look up and I can see the I smoke. Know. <laughs> so, we, do have a fan. we do have a fan, but I'm not turning it on. There you go. You see how I move this around and they're not moving. Yes. It's what you want. Okay. All right. That's how you develop that crust and that caramelization. Uh, I can on see the other it. Side of it. Yeah, it's, it's crusting up nicely. So you'll see those, they get about a little bit, maybe about two minutes more on this side, and then we're gonna flip them. So, nice. Yeah, looks good, no? All right, now are they almost ready or? They're just about ready. So okay. we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna take a shot here at flipping these. As the key is, like I said, don't move them. And uh, let's see what we got. Then when they're done, they'll release. Ooh. How's that look? That looks phenomenal. Yeah, that is a very well cooked scallop for that side. Now let's turn them over. Scallops are always fun because we're gonna have to real quick 
You know what? Do they jar bacon fat in hey, bacon green? You know what? I know I do. Do you? Yeah. Obviously, you can't have a jar. That's right. So, and uh, you know, like I said, cooking scallops uh, sometimes it's easy. Uh, sometimes you struggle. It's just kind of figuring it out, and the key is not to move things, letting that crust develop. And uh, you don't ever want to cook these either. Okay, now the second side will go quicker, I'm assuming. Second side is going to go quicker. And uh, what we're going to do is, what I usually do is, I, I give it the, the finger test method. Okay. You want this to push back. You're, probably, you're pretty much on your middle finger, okay? okay? And that's kind of what you want your scallop to feel like. All right. All right. You want it to give a little bit. You don't want it to be too mushy because that's going to be a little bit soft. Right. But you want it to have a little bit of resistance, almost like a medium layer of oh, steak. A little firmage. A little firmage. Yep, a little firm. <laughs> but we're almost there, and uh, this fish is going to come together so quickly after these scallops are done. Because believe it or not, this is the hardest part. And what are we, four minutes into cooking scallops? Yeah. You know, so it's nice. just a, a beautiful thing. I think they're coming together really nicely. They're going to be done here. And actually, they're almost done now. So All right. what we're going to do is we're just going to take these, give them one more check. They all seem to be good. Let's see what the other side looks like, how that did. Oh, see how yeah. that's a little bit, see how it's not as done as the first side is? Because right. we're going to leave them there as longer. That's okay. You just plate it up this side. All right, some are going to be a little bit better than others. Some are going to be weak. But your presentation side is the most important, and that's always your first step. That's it. That's it. And uh, the key is, like I said, don't overcook scallops. They just don't taste right. All right? I got you, brother. So, so we're going to take good. these off. All right. And we're going to make up our uh, pasta. They're right with Great. us. Great. All right. Sound good. All right. Now we got the scallops resting yep. and looking incredible. They do look incredible. They, they really do. Um, well. uh, what do you think, Douglas? How does it look? It looks amazing. Yeah. I'm having scallops. You are having scallops. Dude. Now, you know what I got to do first? What's that? I want to cut one of these open just so people okay. can see how perfect they are inside. I'd say that looks pretty daggum good to me. Dang gun it is. Daggum good to me. And I'm going to have one without any other flavors first. Okay. So, yeah. See? Now, when I go out and order scallops, this is what I expect. Right. It's when somebody says it's perfectly cooked, mm -hmm. it's perfectly cooked. Thanks. You get flavors on the outside, the crust. Yeah. And then it's so tender inside yet. Yeah. I mean, you saw it at home. Yeah. How beautiful white that is. Yeah. I mean, that, that's perfect.